Today I will cover the dynamic region growing tool, which is a tool that basically combines thresholding and region growing into one step. And it's a tool based on the connectivity of grade values within a specified range of seed points that you can select. So if you have a good data set, it's a great tool for segmenting out blood vessels, airways, nerves, and other similar structures. And it's one of the few tools that you can use to initiate your mass segmentation. So let's open up the segment menu and choose the fourth one down, dynamic region growing. And so the, one of the first things I'd recommend you do is to drag this white box to just crop it down to the region you're interested in. So I'm going to try to segment out this abdominal aorta. So I'm just going to move this in a little bit. And in this dialog box, we have a couple of different options. Uh, we can check this fill cavities box if we want it to try to fill in any holes within our mass segmentation. And I'm also going to check multiple layers so that it includes all the slices within this cropped region that we selected. And so you can see as I move my cursor around, right here, the seed point value is going to change based on what pixel my cursor is currently over. And so once I choose that seed point, it's going to grow out to any of the connected voxels that are within this deviation of that intensity value. So let's go ahead and just left click right in the middle of this aorta. And you can see if I turn on my 3D preview, you know, one click, you get a pretty quick and easy segmentation of those blood vessels. Um, you can change this deviation either before or after the fact. So you can see as I decrease this down, it's going to maybe not grow out quite as far. But I think maybe 50 for the min and max looked a little better. And if you want, you can also um, hold down control and left click to place multiple seed points if maybe it didn't first capture a vessel with your first seed point that you wanted to capture. So I'd encourage you to give this tool out for any segmentations that you're trying to do for you know vessels or nerves or airways and thanks for watching.